So this morning we've got a, a young draft horse here that's uh, just coming two years old. And if we look on the outside here, we can, we can see some pus on the jaw. And so that's actually a draining track. Whenever there's an infection, pus has to come out so it'll find a path of least resistance. Sometimes that's in the mouth or sometimes it's outside. In this case, the abscess broke and drained. So what, what we did is that probe that I had in there, that, that was used to mark where the, the problem is. So we put a, a blunt probe in and then we took a, a radiograph. And we'll show you guys the x-ray here. We can see our probe and the probe goes right to the source of the problem which is the apex on the on the tooth the, which is the number nine tooth the number nine tooth is the first molar and uh, so once it reaches this point you have to take the tooth out sometimes people try antibiotics and really that's just a waste of time and money once you have that much infection the tooth has to come out and the, the earlier you do it or the sooner you do it the better the outcome typically because these young teeth can react a lot um, you can get a lot of proliferation of tooth material and that can make it even harder to extract down the road so what we're doing right now is we're going to go ahead and numb the jaw um, on that side and then we're going to go ahead and, and take that tooth out with the horse standing so now we've got the mouth open and we're going to show you guys something where when we put some lidocaine into the drain track on the outside of the, the face, we'll look with a camera inside the mouth and you'll actually see some bubbling alongside the tooth and that's where the lidocaine is coming up. So we know that there's, there's communication between the mouth and the infection in the root and then um, the drainage out, outside. And so there's pus actually going into the mouth as well as pus draining to the, to the outside of the face. All right, if you want, you can go up to the screen up there. Okay, there's our tooth. We can see that little bit of irregularity in the gum, and then we can see that little bit of bleeding. So we're gonna go ahead and now you see that, look at that pus coming in. Look at that. This is all pus coming in through the drain track. How crazy is that? Imagine what that feels like. So now we're about three quarters of the way through the extraction, but this horse is so so young and so big, you can see that we've got the tooth pulled up, but we're completely out of room. We can't open his mouth any wider. And um, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut part of the tooth off to make some room so that we can keep pulling it up because we're running into the opposite tooth right now. So here you can see how we've cut part of that tooth off, and that should give us enough room now that we can pull it up and get it out of there. So now we had to cut it again because we cut it and pulled it up and uh, it still wasn't enough room. So here we've cut it again and now we've ground it down some more. So the tricky part is you have to be really careful uh, because if this falls down into the socket, you can never get it back out. In this case, the tooth is really tight, so I'm not super worried about that. So we got the tooth out. Um, you'll see there's actually several pieces here the reason why we've got several is because again it was so long we had to cut this piece off then we cut that piece off and then we ground it down to be able to get it out um, and then if we look right here you can see all of this is abnormal here there's a bunch of um, tooth structure missing called cementum that's all absent in this area uh, from chronic infection we got a lot of infection at the pulp and then we have some remodeling right here. Part of why the tooth was really tough to pull up is these young horses tend to get a lot of reaction uh, apically if they get an infection, say horses under five years old. And so here we can see all this reactive cement. And so that makes it really hard to pull this up through the bone because it's like trying to pull a golf ball uh, through a piggy bank slot. Basically it, it wedges um, even though it, it may uh, you may have gotten it loose. So. This was the area of the infection, and the pus was just flowing up the mouth right here where we showed you guys earlier, and then some of it was going down through the apex and coming out the bottom of the jaw. So this guy should be feeling a lot better. The recovery is pretty fast. Uh, once you get the tooth out orally like that, we'll basically um, we put a plug in there and then put some antibiotics in the socket. We'll do a recheck in a couple weeks, and that track should heal up pretty fast, and he should do well. So that's it.